This, my friends, is the Botanical Gardens on Thursday morning in September. Temperature is about 28 degrees Celsius. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. What up, Rapid Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to take a look at what it's like to live in a tropical city that is close to the equator where nature and wildlife are close to humans. That's Georgetown, Guyana. Stay tuned. This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. So we've seen the neighbor to this tree before. That's a neighbor. We've seen all the epiphytes growing on that neighboring tree. This is a different species and what you would notice is that no epiphytes. Now there are these strings hanging down which I assume are also vines from some parasite or epiphyte. They're different from the neighboring tree. Okay, that's that looks familiar. That might be actually one of the epiphytes from the neighbor. But the question I have is whether in fact these epiphytes know exactly which trees to hold on to. And these long vines hanging down are probably roots. Reaching to the ground or do they belong to the actual tree? And is it like a beard? Like my beard, right? Like my beard. So, this is an interesting observation that the trees, even though they're close together, don't really bear the same parasites and epiphytes in their branches. And the question is, who decides? Does the tree decide which epiphytes it wants to host? Or does the epiphyte decide which tree it wants to live off of? Those are the burning questions in the botanical gardens this morning. So this little guy is a monkey I recorded on the mango tree in my backyard. And he escaped from somebody's uh, pen in the neighborhood. So I live in a neighborhood where people keep wildlife as pets. They keep turtles, they keep birds, and they keep monkeys. And so this little guy probably escaped from one of the, is probably a neighborhood pet that escaped from one of the pens, cages, where he was being kept. And so he's been terrorizing the neighborhood for several weeks, coming in and out of homes in case, in my case, I left the back door open. If I leave the back door open, he'd come in through the back door and rummage around looking for seeds and nuts. And then he'd scamper out if I catch him and climb back up into this tree where he's eating the bark off the branches. This is what it's like to live in a tropical city, close to wildlife. This little guy is one of several uh, animals like him. You know, there are mongoose, there are rats, there are other rodents. And some of them are 
so close that they have become uh, domesticated or tame. The problem with living this close to wildlife is that these guys carry diseases and viruses that they might be immune to but we are not. And living through this current pandemic highlights the fact that there is a danger, there is a risk with living that comes with living this close to wildlife in the tropics. And that perhaps we, it's time for us to reconsider our relationship with pets, especially wildlife that we keep in our homes and in our yards, in these cages, because it increases the chance of virus jumping from the animal to the human population, just like the coronavirus did from, back, from bats in Wuhan to humans in the market where they were being sold. So this is just an illustration of how close we live to wildlife in the tropics and how we might have taken it for granted that these birds and these uh, animals that surround us, although they bring us pleasure and comfort and keep us grounded in nature, can also pose a danger to us. The current uh, swine flu and bird flu viruses that bring us the flu annual flu season originated in birds and a hundred years ago jumped from birds to pigs and that's how we got swine flu and bird flu and now a coronavirus which has flu-like symptoms but it's much more deadly. That is the risk of living close to nature. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the risk factor of living close to nature in the tropics and whether this is something we ought to reconsider and re-examine as a national, uh, as a nation, as a society and have a national plan to address these risks. Remember you can share this video with friends and family around the world and let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!